Hi guys, welcome back to another episode and it's Hilda and what you can see on my screen this is a this is affiliate earnings for one particular affiliate product which I promote. You see build your own affiliate link and this is a proofreading course this is a proofreading course which I promote and you see it has made me over three thousand dollars i want to reload i want to reload this so that you see this is not a screenshot you see i did reload and everything is the same so this is another another affiliate uh commission that is max bounty my affiliate commissions at max bounty and you see i've made around five thousand dollars this $5,000 with max bounty. So we are going to reload so that you see that this is not uh, a screenshot. You see, we have reload and we are reloading. Let's wait for it to load. And if you scroll down again, the earnings remain the same. This is another one. This is Panthera, my earnings at Panthera Network. So with Panthera, I've earned around $1,000. So this is Panthera Network. And if we reload, we're going to reload so that you see that this is not a screenshot. This is a real uh, earnings report. So you see, everything remains the same. This is just a few of the affiliate products I promote. And if you add, this is around $3,000 plus 5600 So... If we add this is around three and four and then this is five six so that could should be about ten ten thousand dollars plus this so today guys i'm going to show you the affiliate marketing tools that have helped me make this affiliate earnings that is over ten thousand dollars online the affiliate marketing tools that i've used to make all that money so, and before we get to that, I want to remind you to remember to subscribe to this channel if you have not, turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any update we put up. Remember to engage, that is, share the videos, like the videos. I mean, this helps me so much to grow this channel. This way I keep motivated to keep giving this content to you because you're not paying for it. And then you want to check the video description the links to the URLs I will mention in this video and then definitely if you have any questions any kind of inquiry you could leave a comment or reach out to me on this email so I said we are looking at the affiliate marketing tools I've used to make money with affiliate marketing so there are two ways of doing affiliate marketing one you can do affiliate marketing without a website that is, you could use landing page builders like Builderall. You can use call to actions apps like Link Aero. You can use mobile apps like Adolo. And you can use quiz building platforms like Try Interact. So just either go to my channel and search this, how to make money with affiliate marketing without a website. Or simply just copy this or search this on YouTube and then just add my name and you will get to this video. This is not the strategy. All the screenshots I showed you, I didn't use this strategy. I didn't use this strategy of without a website. But what I used is the next strategy, which is with a website or blog. So for me, I made all those affiliate earnings from my blog. So I have three blogs. And the one you know about mostly is fraudminter.com, which most times when I want to show something about blogging, I use it. So that one you know. And the other two, you don't likely know them because they are niche sites, which niche sites are, are a little different from blog. So I've not done any video of niche sites because I was, they were still on autopilot. That is, I was still testing things. I was still learning things. But I promise you in future, I will do that uh, just to give you um, my own journey of how, what I've been learning with niche sites and I've been making money with that. So this is how I do affiliate marketing with a blog. So we are going to log into my WordPress dashboard. 
So this is my WordPress dashboard. And let's say that uh, I want to create a post and the post I'm creating is on proofreading quizzes and tests. So remember, one of the screenshots of the affiliate product I promote, which I showed you was this proofreading course. This proofreading course. And this is my affiliate link. So once I go to my dashboard, I'll log in and copy this affiliate link. Once I copy that affiliate link, I'll go back to the post editor. And then what I want to do is add. You see, like I'm saying, if you are curious, Kathleen, the founder of Proofread Anywhere, has this free 76 minute workshop on proofreading. And this post is about proofreading quizzes. So just marketing this proofreading quiz to such people is a good idea. So if I want to add this link here, like this is the link I've added here. So maybe let's say we want to add the link here, this formula. So you're going to select it, and then you're going to bold it, and then you're going to click here, insert link, and then you're going to uh, paste the link there. Then you want to make sure you click open on a new tab, and then you also want to make sure you say that it's real no follow. So it's good that when you're using affiliate links in WordPress, you add the no follow or the, the sponsored uh, tag just to let the search engine so that that is an affiliate link okay so that's just is you add the link and then you just uh, publish you just publish or update the, the 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 blog post and you continue adding links like let me show you this is a fiverr affiliate link these are flex job affiliate link you see so you just continue adding the affiliate links why it seems natural and once you're done you update or publish the post if that's how i do affiliate marketing with a blog what tools have enabled me to make that money this blog post on the 60 blogging tools that i use for my blog and uh, these are the main tools i use like if we talk of the theme which theme do i use on sprout mentor the theme i use is a dv theme this is it let me show you proof here so we are going to go to appearance and then we click on themes going to go to appearance and then we click on themes so i know you see that the, the one that is active is free spirit but this is a child theme but the main theme on this blog is this the DV theme. So I'm just using the child theme. That's because I had issues with the DV theme. It was messing up my website every time I was updating. So I decided to use a child theme instead, instead of the main theme. But the main theme that runs this um, blog is the DV theme. And then uh, the other th the other tool I use is Okay, Bluehost is not the hosting company I'm using for Sprout Mentor. I mostly use Bluehost when the blog is new, but when it is grows, like you see, after the blog grows, I move to SiteGround and then Big Scout. So for now, my blog, Sprout Mentor, is on Big Scout. This, you see, Sprout Mentor, I'm on Big Scout because it has grown, it has more traffic now, so I cannot use that too. So if we talk of hosting, the hosting company I use is uh, Big Scout. And then WordPress, then maybe the other tool, the WordPress, that's my content management system. So basically what I can do is I will link to this blog post in the description. Okay. So and again, remember, if you decide to purchase the DVD or the Big Scout hosting package, please remember to go to the description and you will find my affiliate link. If you buy the DVD theme using my affiliate link, you'll get a 30% off. So instead of paying $87, you'll pay $60. If you use my affiliate link to sign up to Big Scout, you will also get a discount. I just can't remember what discount it is right now, but be sure that you will find or get a discount. Are you a new bait to blogging and affiliate marketing that is I mean, don't you own a blog? Because really, those are tips for people who own. You can only use those tools if you own a blog. But what if you don't own a blog? What do I recommend you to do? One, I have two how to start a blog guide. 
the one in video or this one in so you can go to my blog question you can go to my blog and check out this guide on how to start a blog in 2021 these are very detailed 26 minutes long a video which i show you step by step that is around 10 steps on how to start a blog that is for people who prefer video but if you prefer text if you prefer maybe text this is what you can look at if you're someone who prefers text instead of uh, of a video i have the text version of that and this is it so you're going just to read the 10 steps you need to take or know if you want to start a blog this blog post how to start a blog and make money from home and it's published on sproutmentor.com so that's it that's if you are a total newbie then if these are free these two guys are free but if you want a course for me I wasn't making, and I've said this before, I wasn't making money with affiliate marketing until I took this course, until I took this course. So if you want something that you can pay for, go to go to Google and type this. Just type this. I will leave, I will leave this link in the description. And this is the link, HTTPS, the full colon, the slash, bit.ly, then you type affiliate marketing for bloggers cause do not put any space this is in the your browser url address type this and you will be directed to the affiliate marketing course that for me i took which really changed my game when it came to affiliate marketing so the only way i can make money now from these affiliate links if is I get readers to this blog post who will be able to click on these affiliate links like that. And once they click on these affiliate links, they'll be taken to this affiliate proofreading course which I'm promoting. And once they pass, just I will earn a commission from every successful sale. Okay. So the biggest task I have as a blogger is driving traffic. Without traffic, I cannot make money as a blogger. And that's now the other set of the tools we are going to look at. What tools do I use to drive traffic to my blog, Sprout Mentor? So this is it. Uh, this is it. I use different traffic sources, but the ones we are going to look at are my main two. And the main number one is Pinterest. Pin interest. Pinterest is the main number one traffic driver. And the three main tools I use on Pinterest or the three main affiliate marketing tools I use on Pinterest is Canva, Tailwind, and Pin Inspector. Let me show you. So if we talk of Pinterest, this is my Pinterest account. You see, this is my Pinterest account. It belongs to Sprout Mentor, Hilda Mondaire. And then I have like 1.8 million views. I have like at 1.8. 8k followers and what i want you to look at are these images you see these images these images pinned to this pinterest account and i want to show you that i created them with canva you see these images were created with canva maybe let's open this template of the recent two so i want you to look at this image this image I want to show you where it is in my Canva templates. Okay. So you see, this is the image. You see, this is the image. This, this. Okay. Or you can look at this one, this one and you get it you get it here so these i just pinned yesterday but basically the point is canva is what i use to create my pins and i use the free version but if you'd like more features you can use the pro version so that's it but if you really want to know the step-by-step -step tutorial of how i do this there are two videos i have made but i've not published it, them yet so there is this video 
go to my youtube channel and look for the thumbnail with this title how to make 500 daily with affiliate marketing using pinterest so this video will show you how i use the combination of canva and pinterest to make money with affiliate marketing that is most basically to promote that proofreading course again you you can look at this video here this look for this how to make 100 daily using canvas so i said these are videos i've not published yet but by the time you are watching this video or by the time i'm publishing this video this video should be available in my youtube channel so what you just want to go do is go to my youtube channel and then what you're going to do is this you see these two images these images you're just going to look for images with this uh title you're going to look for images with this 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 title how to make uh, with affiliate marketing or this other title how to make this with canva so those two videos should clearly explain to you how i use canva for affiliate marketing on pinterest the other tool i use on pinterest is this tailwind the tailwind scheduler so like uh you see one thing about pinterest is that you have to pin consistently it evaluates fresh content that means you must be creating new pins and pinning them daily of which sometimes you are so held up or you might go for a holiday so what i use to schedule or such that this get to pins for me even when i'm away is this tailwind so this is just a scheduler which gets to pin for me uh, when i'm away like i can schedule pins for a whole month such that that month i don't have to worry about pinning to pinterest because tailwind will be doing it for me so that's the other tool i use then when we talk of there is a new tool i've been using recently that is the pin inspector and what this pin does is it it just for me i'm using it to identify pins of of people who are doing well on pinterest so that i can borrow ideas on what to do or how to uh, edit my own pins to get more traffic and i'm also using it for keyword research for pinterest so this is a new amazing tool uh, i just started using it I've been liking it so far so if you just want a tool that will relieve some of the burden of uh, these things it can do keyword generation it can do analyzing pins it can do board analyzing it can help you know what is trending what is working on pinterest and things like that if you want a tool that can do that for you then this is the tool the pin inspector so remember that all these all these tools all these the url to all these tools can be found in the description of this video and most of them are my affiliate links so if you just decide to purchase any of them please remember to use my affiliate link because you're going to get either a discount or you're just going to promote me because i'm helping you make money so you could help me too so those are the main the three main tools this, those are the three main tools i use on Pinterest. That's Canva, Tailwind, and Pin Inspector. And Pinterest is my number one source of traffic. And if you are totally new to Pinterest and maybe you know you want to know where to get started, this is what I would recommend you to do. So you're going to my channel, Hilda Mwende, and then you're going to scroll down, scroll down to this playlist, Pinterest Marketing Tips. You'll get this one on how to create a Pinterest business account, how to design tips, how even to create ebooks on Canva, and things like those. So just go to this playlist, Pinterest marketing tips, and then you will get tips on how to get started on Pinterest the right way. I have this book on Pinterest where I talk about how I get free traffic on Pinterest. So if you just want to know the specific um uh, strategy i used to get that traffic from pinterest i recommend you take this book which is just going for nine dollars that's 900 kenyan shillings that's very affordable for the right tips so you just can just uh, go and uh, get this book and remember any resource i'm mentioning in this video i'll link in the description below so you just can go get this book 
So the second traffic source which I use apart from Pinterest is Google. And um, Google is a lot of things. It's really a detailed topic, but if we stick on the proofreading affiliate product, let me show you. So if we stick on the proofreading affiliate product alone, I want you to Google and search these two keywords, Amazon proofreading jobs, and you will notice that this blog post, a blog post from SproutMentor.com is ranking on page one of Google. So you see this, uh, this uh, blog post I wrote on proofreading jobs and uh, within it, I'm still promoting that course. You remember that course of proofreading? I'm still promoting within this. So the fact that this post ranks on page one of Google, that means I'm still getting traffic from Google. Another post I did on proofreading was this, which ranks on uh, position three. You see this, Sprout Mentor. So this is just uh, a post on for proofreading jobs. You see it ranks on uh, position three and I'm still getting traffic again from it from Google. So the goal at the end of the day with Google is to make sure that your posts are ranking on page one and if you can between position one to three. So the goal is just to make sure that your, your posts rank within those positions. So these are relatively new posts. So I'm still doing the edits or it still takes time to get to position one. So I'm still doing the edits to do that. So I have other ranking posts, but since the goal of this video is to show you the tools I used, uh, these are the tools. These are the two tools really that for me I've been using with uh, Google. That is one is Ahrefs. So uh, is it Ahrefs or Ahrefs? So this is a tool I use for keyword research. You cannot succeed on Google without keyword research. You must find low competition keywords which are likely to bring you traffic. So for me to find those keywords, I use Ahrefs. And really, keyword research is really a detailed topic, but I have several free guides which you can use. I will link them in the description below. And um, in future, I will do uh, guides on how to rank posts on Google. And again, if you just want training, remember the email, Hilda at SproutMentor.com. Reach out for me any help you need with SEO. The other tool I use is this. SEMrush. I don't know it's SEMrush or SEMrush. 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 So for HDFs I use for keyword research, but when it comes to SEMrush, it is a toolkit which I used to, I really used to do like, it's more of analyzing how are my content performing, opportunities, backlinks, what can I do to improve. So it's more of a site audit for SEO, you see. And one thing about I love about Semurash is that they keep sending me this, you see these emails, site audit, site audit emails. So they do this weekly such that I'm able to know which issues I'm supposed to correct in my site for it to, to rank better or for it for its ranking not to be affected on Google. You see like this, your site health is at risk issues detected so i just go to semurash look at what issues and then i fix them so this is more of the auditing tool i use to monitor my seo that is either problems which exist or problems i hope to improve in future and the really the other main tool that i use for google is this google search console this google search console is also a very good platform it helps you make or monitor your your I mean your performance in Google overall. So guys, Google is really a detailed topic, but I have a book. This I have a book. I've written a book where I share I've written a book where I share some of the best on page SEO tips that I've used to rank my post on Google. This how to rank in position of one of Google. And this book is just worth nine dollars so you just can get it uh, and then you will get started with seo tips and then the good thing is that when you buy this book i'll send you 
other over 100 free resources you can use to up your SEO game. So those are the four main, that is the DV theme, Big Scouts, the Pinterest tools and the Google tools that I use for affiliate marketing. But there are other tools that are necessary and I use them from time to time. This is these guys, iMac Interactive. Remember my blog is on WordPress and it has grown. So there are so many issues I need fixed. I'm not a technical person. I don't understand anything to do with technical things like speed optimization. So anything I need, anything technical done on my blog, I use these guys, iMac Interactive. These are the guys I use. And um, I have not opened my email, but I could have shown you proof. But these are the guys I use. This company is owned by Grayson Bell, a very recommended WordPress expert. So this, if you want really any WordPress help, either technical, that is support, maintenance, talk to them, iMac Interactive. The other platform I use is Fiverr. You see, sometimes I need some things done for me, like uh, maybe a CEO, any short task, because iMac, they're always busy. You must book like two months earlier. So if maybe I want something fast done on my blog, I just go to hire a freelancer on Fiverr. So I have really hired several on Fiverr for writing, people to write for me blog posts, someone to do SEO optimization for me. So this is another tool I use for affiliate marketing. That is Fiverr. So remember, I told you that my main strategy of doing affiliate marketing is with a website. And that's what I've been doing for the last two years of affiliate marketing. But lately, I want to try out doing affiliate marketing without a website. And this is what I've been trying out lately. So what I've been trying out is, one, I tried out using Warrior Plus. You see, using Warrior Plus with MailChimp. This video explains that. That is this video how to make money online in Kenya with affiliate affiliate marketing for beginners. So this video explains how I've been using a combination of Warrior Plus and MailChimp. All of them are free, but the tool there I'm using is email marketing using MailChimp. And you see so far in the last 30 days, I've made $78. So I'm surprised because this is a new strategy which I am really applying. So it's not bad. So. I am not using any website in this scenario. It's just MailChimp, which is an email marketing software, and the affiliate thing links on Warrior Plus. So you just can go look at how I have been doing it on this video. Again, the other thing I'm trying out is using a landing page builder that is Builder All. And um, I'm planning to do a video in future of how. I this has been working for me. So instead of having landing pages hosted on my blog, I want to have landing pages hosted on Builder All. The other tool I've been looking at is this volume. So what this software does is that it will it helps you track your affiliate uh, marketing campaign such that you know that which ones are working, which ones are not, which ones should you leave, which ones should you capitalize on. And it also helps you to know which ones of your competitors are working. So this is really a good analytics platform I'm planning to use. That is volume. Again, uh, when it comes to email marketing, the other thing I want to try in future is using the automatic, automatic email hunter. What this one does is that it hunts for you email on any website you visit, on any uh, CPA offer you visit. It will hunt for you emails of people you don't know online. And this really can up my affiliate game. So this is another tool uh, I'm planning to look at in future. Another affiliate marketing tool I'm planning to look at in future. And the final one, now that... Uh, YouTube is becoming part of me now that I'm finally monetized. I hope that you guys checked out that video. So I did this video. I did this video on how I finally got monetized on YouTube. And now that YouTube is really becoming a uh, part of me or I'm planning to put more effort to YouTube. This is the tool so far that has gotten who I am in YouTube. That is VDIQ. 
And I'm going to use this tool to the fullest to make sure that I'm making money with affiliate marketing from YouTube. So this is also a tool that you need to look for, especially if you're planning to do affiliate marketing with YouTube. So these are in my try list, this Warrior Plus and MailChimp are in my try list. Builder All is in my try list. Volume is in my try list. Email Atomic Email Hunter and VDIQ. Why they're in my try list is because these are tools that I am just testing out. Again, the idea of doing affiliate marketing without a website is new to me. And that's just what I want to test out uh, from now going on into the future. So thank you for staying till the end of this video. I want to remind you to remember to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any updates we put up. Remember to engage, that is, share the videos, like the videos. I mean, this helps me so much to grow this channel. This way I keep motivated to keep giving this content to you because you're not paying for it. And then you want to check the video description for the links to the URLs I will mention in this video. And then definitely, if you have any questions, any kind of inquiry, you could leave a comment or reach out to me on this email. And until next time, guys, bye-bye from me right now.